This video is brought to you by Wondershare PDF Element. Wondershare PDF Element is an absolutely amazing piece of software that you can download from the first link in the description below and start editing PDFs like they were MS Word files. You can edit and annotate basically every piece of text and you can also convert different types of PDFs into other file formats and digitally sign PDFs as well as annotate them. There is also a method to split a PDF file, insert different PDFs into the same one, combine them, compress PDFs and also use the cool OCR feature which basically lets you turn scanned documents into PDF files and use text from them. It's really really cool and the guys over at Wondershare have also released template mall on PDF element wherein you can download various different templates that are basically PDFs that you can use completely for free by going over to the template section inside PDF elements UI. It's very nice and I would highly recommend everybody uses it and of course you can use Wondershare PDF element on your Windows devices, your Mac devices devices, iOS devices, Android and so on. Definitely check it out, it will be linked below. Yo, what's up guys? Anubhav here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at five different ways on how you can customize your Android device like a pro. So if you guys do like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and without any further ado, let's get started. All right. So the first section that we're going to be talking about are three of my absolute favorite abstract wallpaper applications. This being the first way you can customize your Android, of course, changing the wallpaper. And the first app that we're talking about is called Crimson Wallpapers. And if you're somebody who likes a lot of cool abstract wallpapers with varying different designs, not really looking for any particular category, then Crimson Wallpapers is probably the perfect place for you to start. This application has a lot of really unique wallpapers that I've never really seen across any other app. And I have to say that a couple of my favorites include the Refall section. There are different categories, of course, depending on the developer. And I really, really like these walls. They are absolutely stunning and I would definitely use them on my Android device. The next application that I want to talk about is something called Wall Fever. I have spoken about this app earlier and again I just have to give it a shout out once again because the sheer amount of categories that this application has especially the Android 12 category makes me feel really really nice because it has a lot of cool pixel style as well as material use style wallpapers that really complement your Android 12 home screen setup if you're somebody like me who absolutely is in love with material U and yeah it's just got a lot of cool abstract wallpapers with pastel colors I think it's really cool and last but definitely not the least is called unusual wallpapers and as the name suggests this is an application where you will find a lot of unusual wallpapers stuff that you wouldn't find really anywhere else the amulet section is really really cool has got a lot of deep black wallpapers that can of course take advantage of that beautiful amulet display in case you have a phone with it i really like the collection of wallpapers here especially this one 474 looks really cool and i think paired with the correct type of widget and home screen it would look absolutely absolutely stunning. This is once again one of my favorite wallpaper applications which has a really cool collection of abstract walls. So yeah, definitely check it out. It will be linked below. And that is pretty much it for the abstract wallpaper applications. Now let's move on to the second way you can customize your device and that is of course with a KWGT widget. Now I've made an entire guide on KWGT in case you don't know how to use it. So you can go check that out. But just to have it brief, KWGT Pro is basically an application with which you can use custom widgets. You have to download this app the pro key as well as different skins now two skin packs that i would really recommend number one is android 12 u for kwgt as the name suggests this is a beautiful clean and minimal design pack which is inspired by android 12 widgets now not only are the widgets created with an android 12 style this is a widget pack that also tries to emulate some of the material u features that you will have in android 12 what do i mean by that well whatever widget color that you see right now is not going to be the actual actual color of the widget. It will depend on the type of wallpaper that you have. So the widget will automatically pick up an accent color from your wallpaper. For example, if I set this widget right here, as I click on it, as you see the color changes, it matches my wallpaper so much more now. And this is the same with 
every other widget. Another pack that I would really recommend is called Donut for KWGT. This has some of the most minimal widgets out there, doesn't have a lot of widgets this pack, but all the widgets, especially this one, Donut number 17, this looks extremely cool and super clean and I really like the way my home screen looks with it. Now those are my recommendations for customizing your home screen using KWGT widgets. The third way to customize your Android like a pro is of course to change icon packs and the first icon pack that I want to talk about is Afterglow icon pack. As the name suggests, this is an icon pack which has a lot of material design based icons and the icons have sort of an underglow below them so they have sort of have this glowy effect that looks really really good with minimal home screen setups the next icon pack that i would like to talk about is called blurric icon pack this has a more neomorphism sort of a blur style and you know glassy icon look has more than 2400 icons paired with the right wallpaper and the right home screen setup this is again an icon pack that can do absolute wonders when it comes to creating an aesthetic home screen I like this as well and I use it from time to time whenever the home screen complements it. Last but definitely not the least, we've got Delta Icon Pack and what else can I say about this? I think if you're a beginner who wants to try Android customization for the first time, this Icon Pack is straight up stunning. It looks good with any home screen, any wallpaper, any widgets, has a large collection of icons. You've got more than 4000 icons here and all of the icons are inspired from material design. All of them look really good, they pop, they have nice tinges of color here and there. And if you had to pick one icon pack from this list, I would recommend it to be Delta Icon Pack. It's absolutely stunning. And yeah, those are the three icon packs that I wanted to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of a quick way on how you can customize your Android like a pro by using these simple apps. But trust me, once you put all of these apps together, including the launcher of your choice, or you can do most of these things even on your stock launcher, if you have a OnePlus phone or many other phones that have these options nowadays, your home screen will look absolutely amazing and everybody will think that you are a pro at this. With that said, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to drop a like subscribe to the channel this is anubhav signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe peace out